All right, let's get into some NFL here. Um, Sunday action. Jacksonville coming to town. Take on my Lions. Lions are, I already want to say it, a favorite. Uh, one and a half point favorite. Over under is 51 and a half. Uh, before you break down this game, I got to tell everybody about the promo this week. Use the promo code HOLIDAY. At, save 20% off the entire site. All you got to do is put in HOLIDAY at the checkout. It'll just take 20% right off. That's what Santa's bringing you this year. <laughs> <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> Jacksonville at the Lions. Uh, just go ahead. Tell me why the Lions are going to lose. Well, they are deserving favorite here. The Lions, since what? That's four here four or five weeks ago, right? Like that's mm-hmm. when things started. They started to get healthy. The yes. defense at least was uh, – they're still giving up lots of yards. I mean, this is not the best defense, but they were getting turnovers. And you can you can give up yards in the NFL if you can make them kick field goals or you can get turnovers. And they've started to do that. And then this offense, like I said, starting to get healthy. So they're a deserving favorite here. But one and a half like points, like, you know, it's like, are we in an alter, you know, alternative universe here that, you know, Detroit has – was it second game this year they've been favorite? Or is it third? Uh, I think this is the third. This yeah, is so, the third. Yeah. And the other ones, by the way, mm-hmm. were like Washington and um, Houston, right? Houston, uh, no, they haven't played Houston. Uh, Chicago. I think they were favored against Chicago. <laughs> no, because they were in Chicago. Maybe this is the second one. Well, but when you look at it, Lenny, first of all, great game last week where they had a chance in that game to, you know, to lay down and just kind of get blown out. And they didn't do it. I mean, this team has fought back. Um, you know, coach, if you don't think coaching matters in football, this is <laughs> yeah. this is a one of those teams. Like, if you put this team with a bad coach, they they three or four wins is what they're going to finish at. But when you can get a coach to get players up, to believe anything can happen in, in, in a one-game setting, and that's the, the case in the NFL. It's always just one game. It doesn't matter what you did last week. Why well, they play the matter. game. That's yeah. right. Uh, but I think Jacksonville, that was a huge win. Jacksonville beating the Baltimore Ravens, which the Ravens, they play a ton of close games, but they usually find ways to win those games. And Jacksonville going for two, like that was like putting your, you know, cojones on the table, as they say. And I think that is one of those things that, you know, like Doug Peterson, like I think, you know, he's kind of got that coaching magic, magic as well. And Trevor Lawrence looked great last week and they got the weapons around him. I think they have the better defense of these two teams, and I like the offenses are basically a wash. So to me, I hate to do it to you, Lenny, mm-hmm. but I just got to call it as I see it. I think this is a Jacksonville win. They At least Detroit Lions do have an extra few days to prepare. That's definitely mm-hmm. an advantage. Remember, they played on Thanksgiving Day. Um, so a couple days to prepare does help, but I do like Jacksonville to pull off a uh, win outright. We'll take the one and a half because weird stuff happens this time of year in the NFL. Uh, but, hey, no matter what happens, you know, Detroit's not making playoffs this year. You have to be <laughs> ready to go next year because this team, if they get a few free agents on defense, like you're talking about this team could flip, you know, which I think they're going to win like six games this year, maybe five, six games. Next year they could flip where they only lose five or six games. And that's what yeah. you're really looking for is when you take that quantum leap. And I think next year's the year for Detroit. What I love about this team is they believe, and you can see it in their cell. Watch, I mean, I watch every Lions game. Obviously, Lions, right. they believe in themselves, and yep. that is 100% of coaching. Whether they yep. are the greatest talented, it does not matter. They believe they can get it done, and they never yep. stop fighting, which is something I haven't seen in a long time for a Lions right. fan. Uh, and another thing I realized handicapping this game, Jared Goff and Trevor Lawrence are very similar stats yep. for the year. Um, so I, I, I'm good. You know, I mean, I'm obviously on the lions and everything like that. I do think having a little extra time being at home is going to factor in. Yep. Uh, I like the lions here and that's just, uh, that's, I, I would say the I one that, that's the big edge. The extra <laughs> yeah. week, uh, is, is huge. Um, uh, but I think that is actually counteracted by Jacksonville. Such a big, uh, come from exactly, behind. Win exactly. That's that, the that kind of that thing point. really can. And you, when you have those big wins, you don't want extended time. You want to play. I mean, heck, lace them up on Thursday if you're the Jacksonville Jaguars because you want to carry yeah, that you momentum want to carry over their momentum. Yeah, uh, absolutely. when you win, especially in those kinds of forms. So I do think Jacksonville has that edge. Um, and, and can the Lions use that extra rest? I will say the question when Detroit land is, 
is Jared Goff the quarterback next year, or do they no. draft him and you know, he's the quarterback and then have a quarterback in waiting? That'll be one more, one more year with Jared Goff. One more. I think year. they'll probably draft someone in the first round and then, but but play Jared Goff next year. But you never know; someone could make a trade offer that you can't you can't say no to. And I don't know that Matt Stafford trade that Matt Stafford trade last year is looking real good for us because they're yeah. gonna the Rams are gonna finish the bottom five. So that's yeah. gonna wrap that up though. So. Tread lightly, folks. You want to follow Craig Trapp in the Jacksonville Jaguars? That's fine. Be, be on Santa's naughty list all you want. Sprinkle the money. I, out. <laughs> yes. Like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. Power hours here Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern. Craig Trapp, I appreciate you stopping by, guys. We'll see you guys on the next power hour. Take care. Good luck. Unless you're against me. And get, remember, Lions, Lions, Buffalo Super Bowl rematch. Here we come.